Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of representing equations for multi-step problems. This is standard 5.4b in the great state of Texas. And we are using item number 14 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Mr. Anderson had 185 pieces of wood. He sold 25 pieces of wood to his neighbor and then stacked the rest into wood piles around his house. Each pile of wood contained 40 pieces of wood. So which equation could be used to find P, the number of piles? Hmm. So let's see if we can draw this in kind of a strange graph here, a little representation. We're going to call it a strip diagram, but it's going to be kind of a strange one. So I'm going to take my total here. I've got 185 pieces. I know this is the total because it just says he has 185 and then he's getting rid of it. He's doing other things with it. So first he's going to sell 25 pieces of wood to his neighbor. So when you sell something, you're going to subtract something. So I'm going to also keep like a running, running equation over here so we can kind of keep track of what he's got left. So I'm going to 25 is probably not going to be that much. So I'm just going to draw a little box right here. I'm going to say he's got 25 gone to his neighbor. So that's going to leave us with 160. And then each pile of wood is going to contain 40 pieces. He's going to stack the rest into piles. We don't know how many piles. We're looking for this right here, the number of piles. But they're piles of 40. So what I can do here, if I want to show division, is I can show this. So this is kind of like a hybrid strip diagram here. How many 40s? will there be left after I get rid of my 25? I can do that, or if I wanted to, I can take my 160 and I can say, you know what? Let's, let's just make that our new total right there, 160. And let's just say we've got our 40 here. So we've got two different steps, two different things that we're doing right here. So we are first subtracting. We're subtracting this 25. So let's take a look at our answer choices. And you'll notice that, take a look at this. We've got this right here, H and F. They are both asking me to add. So we know those are wrong. And then the two other options are, are we subtracting 40? Or are we dividing by 40 to find P, the number of piles? Well, let's see if we can figure out, if I'm going to do my 40s, how many 40s can I skip count here? 40, 80, 120, 160. So I've got, looks like I've got four piles. And so this right here, this is actually a division representation. So it looks like we're going to subtract first and divide second. Now I'm thinking my answer is J, but you notice it never asked us for the actual answer P. It just wants the equation for P. Well, I know that there are going to be four piles. If I take away 25 and then divide 160 by 40, there's going to be four 40s. Let's see if any, if P, that works for four. Let's see if any of these others work for four. Look at H right here. We'll just kind of go up. H is 185 plus 25, so that's going to be big. That is going to be 210. Oh, and then times 40? Holy cow, that's going to be really large. I'm just going to put zeros there. And then I'm going to put another zero for 8,400. So that's not going to work. And I'll give you a hint, these other ones aren't going to work either. The answer is going to be J.